Before beginning your alignment, choose your measurement units, metric or imperial. If you choose imperial, measurement units will appear as mils, which are equivalent to one one-thousandth of an inch. Note that the tolerances have been set for a default of 1800 RPM. Tap the tape measure icon to begin entering dimensions. Enter the distance between the dials, measuring to the nearest one-eighth of an inch. Tap the check mark after entering each value. By default, the app gives you half the distance between the coupling center and the movable dial. Accept or override. Next, enter the distance between the movable dial and the front feet of the movable machine. Finally, enter the distance between the front feet and the rear feet. Enter a name for the results file that will be saved. Next, you will see the measurement screen. If you need to correct any measurements, tap the tape measure icon to return to the last step. If you need to compensate for bar sag, tap the bar sag icon and enter values for each bar, starting with the stationary and followed by the movable. Tap the measurement icon to begin measuring the alignment condition. Zero both dials at nine o'clock. While controlling for backlash, Rotate the dials 180 degrees to 3 o'clock. Watch the dials as you rotate and take note of the direction the needles are moving, negative or positive. At 3 o'clock, physically adjust both dials halfway back to zero to display the actual horizontal offset. Now as you rotate the shafts, the dials will read the actual offset at any point. Enter the horizontal offset value displayed on the stationary dial. Then, enter the horizontal offset value displayed on the movable dial. Next, rotate the dials to 12 o'clock. The dials will read, live, the offset in the vertical plane. Enter the vertical offset value on the stationary dial, then the movable dial. The alignment results are now displayed the icons are color-coded and show the relative position of the shafts. The objective is to eliminate misalignment, which will change any yellow or red icons to green. Green indicates the alignment value is within tolerance. The offset at the feet is also displayed. In the vertical plane, positive values mean that the movable machine is sitting high, and negative values mean sitting low. In the horizontal plane, positive values mean that the feet are sitting away from you. Negative values mean that the feet are sitting toward you. If you need to remeasure, tap the measurement icon. The Dials app uses the vertizontal compound move, which is likely to be different from how you've aligned before. With the vertizontal method, you loosen the bolts, then correct both the vertical and horizontal alignment before retightening and remeasuring. Using live readings to make the horizontal adjustment makes this possible. To begin the vertical adjustment, tap the shim icon, then make the indicated vertical corrections. With the bolts still loose, tap the horizontal adjustment icon. Rotate the dials to three o'clock, then make the horizontal adjustments while reading live values. First, adjust the front feet of the movable machine while watching the movable dial. Once the dial is close to zero, move on to the next screen. Now, adjust the rear feet while watching the stationary dial. Once the dial is close to zero, move on to the next screen. Next, use the near-near far-far method to make final corrections. Adjust the front feet of the movable machine while watching the movable dial while alternately adjusting the rear feet, watching the stationary dial. Adjust the movable machine until both dials read zero. This completes the vertizontal correction. Now, you can tighten the bolts and return to the measurement screen. Repeat the measurement process to check your work and, if necessary, repeat the vertizontal alignment process until the shafts are within tolerance.